Blue Collar Watches again, and I'm back with another of my AliExpress watches. This one took 10 days to get from when I ordered it. This is from the August sale. This is the, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, the Spec and Shown, Sewn, Spec and Shown. This is obviously a homage to the Tissot PRX. This is automatic has the Miyota 8215. I'm very pleased with this watch and it makes me instantly like the Miyota 8215 more. This is the updated Miyota 8215. This watch hacks an unexpected pleasantry with this watch. I've been wanting to get a Tissot PRX, but they usually run, well, obviously I want the automatic. I like automatic watches. You're talking five, six hundred dollars. During the sale, I picked this watch up for 62 bucks. Can't beat that. I have no idea yet what kind of loom this thing is going to have. At that price point, I'm not expecting the loom to be spectacular. But we'll see when I do the loom shot. Now that I have this watch in hand, I'm actually pretty pleased with what I got. For the money. I think this is normally like $75. 74 and some change. We'll call it 75. The number one thing that I would say that I probably dislike about this. Let me move these hands so we can get a better look. I think the name's too big. But all in all, I like to watch. I really, I chose this waffle dial. I believe they all have a waffle dial with the blue. Like that dial. And, so, and the hacking Miyota movement was, again, like I said, a very unexpected pleasantry. This does have sapphire. Uh, the back, that's somewhat of a disappointment to me. That's mineral. See-through case back. Integrated band on this. The band is okay. For the price point of the watch. I'm not a big fan of these butterfly butterfly clasps, but it's it's okay considering what I paid for the watch. And this watch is pretty thin. 11.7. Lug the lug. I wish I knew the dimensions of a real PRX. 45, 45 3. The dial, the circumference, 41, you might as well call it. This is a pretty cool watch for $62. I'm going to go ahead and size it and then show it to you on wrist. So I thought I'd throw this in here real quick since I got the bracelet apart and I can get a nice view of the case back. This is my first hacking Miyota 8215. That is, to me, a great improvement in this movement. I don't really see any type of difference, but that's what they look like. Okay, so I'm still sizing this band, and I did want to point out, this band does have half links. That's a nice, pleasant surprise. Okay. So this is what this watch looks like on my seven and three quarter inch wrist. I got a pretty darn good fit out of this band. And it's not a bad band considering what the price of the watch is. I'm usually not a real big fan of integrated bracelets, especially when you buy a less expensive watch and then you get a, a pretty crappy band on there. But this one appears to be decent quality. Fit and finish on this watch. It has a brushed finish. Actually feels pretty good. No grittiness to it. It's pretty well polished. And then the outer, outer ring is polished. And again, I said the only really thing that I would negative on this, I think the name's too big. Maybe they should come up with a symbol for their brand instead of putting them on like this. As you can see, the water resistance rating on this says 50 meters, so that would be five bar. And again, it's an AliExpress watch. I would never trust or believe that. But 
that's a pretty darn nice watch for 62 bucks. Again, I had this in my cart for a while, and because it had the Miyota 8215 in it, I thought, I'm going to wait for this to go on sale. It's not my favorite movement. I don't truly hate it, but it's not my number one favorite movement. So I just held it in my cart, and I thought, when it goes on sale, I'll buy it. I didn't know that this was the updated 8215. Again, this is the third time I'm saying Very pleasant surprise that this has the upgraded, updated Miyota movement in it. Very happy with that. Okay, so here we go with the loom shot of this watch. My initial impression of it is pretty good. I'm not quite sure of the staying power of it yet. I'll check that in a minute. That's pretty decent loom on this watch. I think I'm gonna throw a quick time lapse in because it doesn't state that it's C3 or anything. So I'm not quite sure what the staying power of it would be. So as you can see from that loom shot, nothing spectacular. The loom on the hands is rather weak. The dial stayed visible. I would say it's somewhat usable, but nothing spectacular. And again, when I buy a watch and it's just as luminous hands and dial, I don't have high expectations of the loom. But my overall impressions of this watch I'm sorry I waited. I mean, yeah, I did save $13 by keeping it in my cart and waiting till it went on sale. I think this watch is a hidden gem. This watch is of better quality than I was expecting. Pretty happy with it. The fit and finish are pretty darn good. Screwed on crown. Display case back. The band is okay. Considering what I paid for it, the band is okay. And you're married to this band because it is an integrated bracelet. I'm happy with this. Again, the only downfall, the only negative I would point out, I the name's a little big. I can get past that. I can get over that. I'm trying to remember what variations of style comes in. I believe it's black, green, blue. I don't know if there's a white one or not. I do know that there's four variations of this dial. And again, this watch is a hidden gem. Highly recommend it. I believe it's usually 74 and some chains. Call it $75. Well worth it. If you're looking for a Tissot PRX, but don't want to spend five, $600, here you go. All right, that's it.